Yep, it's real, it's here, and it's f***ing awesome. So today I'm going to show you how to set up your Asus motherboard with the Corsair IQ software. Let's get into it. So if you're anything like me, you've had your eyeballs completely flooded with CES videos from your favorite tech tubers, and you might have found some interesting and cool products within those videos. Well, within there, Corsair actually announced official Asus motherboard support within their IQ software. And this is fantastic to see this level of integration between two companies. But why is this so exciting? I already use Asus Aura to control my motherboard lights. But I can tell you this now, IQ is a significantly more customizable piece of software and it's fantastic to have that support within Asus motherboards. And even if you don't own a single Corsair product, you'll still be able to get this up and running on your Asus motherboard, and spoiler alert, you probably should. Not only can you control the physical lights on your motherboard, but you can also control the motherboard's RGB headers. Now this is fantastic for your case lights, or in my application, my desk, which is actually plugged into my motherboard and controlled via my motherboard's software, which you can actually learn more about here. So before we begin, don't forget to get subscribed. We've got a couple really interesting videos for you. Number one, we're going to be using the used market to make a couple hundred dollars together where we can really build and buy smart. And then we can sell smart too. And the second video is we're going to be building a Ryzen-based gold Mac mini using a thin ITX motherboard. Now, if you know what that is or you don't know what that is, go ahead and get subscribed because that's going to be an excellent video. Well, enough from me. Let me show you how to get your Asus motherboard set up with Corsair IQ. I want to thank James from Corsair for providing this information. The software integration is in beta and it's early access for you guys to play with, hence these steps. Firstly, you want to make sure that your motherboard is in the compatibility list. No one is guaranteeing anything if it isn't in the compatibility list. So check the video description for that and cross-reference your motherboard. Next, you want to make sure that you have Asus Aura version 1.07.79, and you can do this by going into your system settings and searching for programs, then clicking all programs and searching for Aura. Click the row listed and check that your version is 1.07.09 or higher. If you don't see it in the list or you have an earlier revision like I previously did, then we will need to get that for you in the next step. Next, we want to type in IQ and do the same thing. Click the record and check that the version is 3.23 or higher. And if it's not, we'll get the latest version of IQ for you as well. So we'll grab Aura first. Search for Asus Aura on Google and download version 1.07.79 or above right here. Asus does recommend that you update your BIOS before installing Aura. It might not be necessary, but I haven't done it in a while, so I thought, what the heck? Now I am going to be using the old school method of a USB pen, but this might not necessarily be the best method for you. And you can do it several different ways depending on which Asus motherboard you have. So if you want to go ahead, do that and come back, but it might not be necessary to actually do those to get IQ working with your motherboard. So if you do want to go ahead and do the following steps, maybe check it over. If it doesn't work, go ahead, update your BIOS, come back and repeat those steps. Install the Aura software by double clicking this file and check in your programs like you did before that the software version is what you downloaded. You may have to do this twice as the first time I did it, it just uninstalled Aura. Good job, Asus. After it's completed the install, it will prompt you to restart, so go ahead and do that. Moving on to IQ, if you need to update to version 3.2.3, you can do that by going into IQ and under the settings tab, you can check for and install the latest version. It's as simple as that. After it's finished downloading and installing, it will also prompt you to restart your computer, so go ahead and do that too. The final step is to add the Aura integration files to the IQ directories. But before we do that, we need to make sure that neither Aura or IQ are currently running. So head over to your system tray and close IQ, AI Suite and Aura if you see them by right clicking and selecting close. And for good measure, we'll open up Task Manager and end any process that mentions Corsair or Asus. Download the integration files using the link in the video description below and extract them to the following directory. I've also provided the text string for that directory so that you can just copy and paste it. I'm assuming that you haven't changed the default install path when you installed IQ, but if you have, just make sure that you're going into the plugins folder and change the directory appropriately. And now all that you need to do is launch IQ. You will see the Asus motherboard listed in the device section, and you can customize the lighting until your heart is content. This has allowed me to match my motherboard controlled desk lights with the Halo Covenant effect that I've applied to my keyboard and mouse pad, which Aura could never do, and I'm so happy to use IQ for my motherboard lights despite not being able to actually see my motherboard. I am planning on doing an in-depth review of IQ as a software, the good, the bad, the ugly, 
as requested by Ophelion Gaming, Skylar and Ian. So big shout out to you guys. I am in the comments section interacting all the time and I really do listen to what you guys have to say. So get subscribed, shoot a comment below of what you might want to see in a future video and who knows, I might be giving you a shout out in that video soon. So I genuinely hope this video has been informative, useful and has helped you out. And if you have a friend that has an Asus motherboard, send this video off to him. He needs to watch it. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.